friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using Lawn Fawn's Ahoy Matey plus the tiny little cake from Party Animals. So I've stamped all my images in Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink on some Spectrum Noir Ultra Smooth Premium White cardstock and I'll be coloring with my Copic markers. I'm starting with my Girl Pirate and for her skin I'm using E000 E00 and E11. So I began with that E11 and gave her a little shadow up under her hairline and at her neck and the bottom of her arms and also the top of her legs since the skirt would be casting a shadow and blended all those out. And then for the boy, I wanted his skin to be just a bit darker. So I'm using E00, E11 and E13 and just coloring him the same way, except um, the only skin that he has exposed is his face and hands. Then I'm moving on to the girl's hair. So I'm using E50, E51, and E53. Normally I color hair lightest to darkest, but um, these images are so simply drawn and there's not a lot of room there. So I just jumped straight in with my darkest color and blend it down to the lightest. And I'm going to let that dry for a bit and in the meantime, color in my pirate map, or my treasure map, I should say. So I use the same shades for that. I was just a lot more heavy handed with that E53 so that it looks a little bit um, older and stained. And then I went back to my little girl and I decided to add in a little E55. So I'm just putting in a few little streaks there to create some contrast. I am going to use the E55, E57, and E59 to color in the trunks of my palm trees. So I use the E59 as my shadow and I kind of just put that where they were overlapping each other and then I'm blending that out with the E57 and then I'll use the E55 as my highlight. And I'm also going to use these shades to color in the pirate ship. I wanted it to be a dark color wood so I thought this was a good combo for that. So I used the BG59 at both sides and then a little bit down at the bottom edge just to help that pop and lift off the page. And then I'm blending that out with the E57 and then the E55, just carefully going around those little circles, which could be portholes if you wanted. On mine, they're gonna be um, where the cannons are inside. So we'll get to that in a little bit. I used E59 just by itself to color in the masts because it was such a small area, but I did squeeze all three shades into the crow's nest, and I just shaded that um, with the shading on the left-hand side and the highlight on the right. And then I'm going to move on to my coconuts, and I wanted something that had a little bit of a dustier tone to it, so I chose E44. E47 and E49. I just used the E49 and the E47 for the coconuts, but I'm going to use all three shades to color in my treasure chest. And again, because these marker shades have that dustier quality to them, I thought that would be great to make this treasure chest look like something that has been buried for a long time and it has just been dug up. So I used the E49 to put a deeper shadow down at the bottom edge, but also a little bit of shadow right up under where the metal bars are and blended that out with the E47. I did the same on the lid, a slightly larger shadow on the bottom edge than the top, but um, I didn't wanna to go too deep up there because there's not a lot of room and I wanted there to be a nice wide highlight there because um, it would be open and it's gonna be a tropical scene so the sun would be out and it would be bright and creating that nice highlight there. So I used the E44 to fill in all the rest of that white space. 
And before I put these colors away, I'm also going to do his peg leg. I'm moving on to my sails on my pirate ship and I wanted those to look old and distressed as well. So I used E40, E42, and E43. So I started in the front and added that E43 to kind of help them look like they're billowing out a bit and then blend it out with the E42 and the E41. And then I decided to add in a little E40 as well to lighten up those front corners. I also used that E40 to add a little shading to the skull on the pirate hat. And then I decided to color in the boy pirate's hair with this combo as well. So I used the E41 and then added a few little streaks with the E42 and then the E43. For the little trio of rocks, I'm going to use E70, E71, and E74. These could also be mountains in the far distance if you wanted to use them that way. I'm going to use them as rocks kind of poking up from the ocean floor and creating like a little cove for our little pirates. And then I also decided to use those shades on his pants just to tie that color combination in on another place on the card. I like to do that whenever possible. Um, just so it creates a more cohesive look. I'm moving on to some warm grays and I'm going to use these to color anything that I want to look black. So I'm using W5, W7, and W9 and I'm going to do both of their boots. So two for her, one for him. And then I'm also going to color the inside of the treasure chest because I wanted it to look really dark underneath that lid so that the gold coins really pop once I color them in. So I just used the W9 and the W7 on those because I wanted to create a lot of contrast there. So I just left off the W5. And then I'm also going to use these shades to color in his vest. And I'm going to put a little shadow up under his head and then also a little shadow down at the bottom edge with that W9 and blend that toward the center with the W7 and then use the W5 as my highlight in the center. So that's maybe made out of leather or some other fabric that would have a little bit of shine in the center there. And then I'm also going to color in the pirate hat because of course he needs to have a black hat as a pirate. Although I do think that um, doing it in some other colors could be really fun as well. I think I've done it in navy blue in the past and really liked that look. But today I decided that it should match his vest. So I'm just shading from the bottom toward the top and now I'm moving on to my lightest shade, the W5, carefully cover, coloring around that little skull and crossbones so that I don't get any color in that area. And then I can also color in the little flag on top of the pirate ship because the pirate ships are supposed to be black. And then, like I said, I wanted those little circles to be where the cannons go, so I'm going to color those in dark as well. So I'm switching to some cool grays because I wanted to do the metal straps that are holding our treasure chest together, and I wanted it to be in a color other than gold so that, again, those gold coins will really pop once I color them in. So I thought silver might be a good option. So I used C0, C1, and C3, and um, just tried to keep a little bit of highlight in the center of each of those little straps. So now moving on to my little pirate girl's outfit, and I wanted to add in some bright colors. So I went with orange first. I'm using YR04, YR07, and YR09. And I'm going to do the scarf that she's got wrapped around her head and then also the one that is wrapped around her waist. I'm going to 
color that one kind of to match. It doesn't have the polka dots, but I wanted the same color fabric. So again, just use the YR09 as the darkest, YR07 as my midtone, and then the YR04 as my highlight. And I also did color in the bird's beak and the flame of the candle with the YR04, but I'll do that later on. Um, for the rest of her dress, I went with turquoise. I picked BG13, BG15, and BG18. I really like turquoise and orange together. They're opposite on the color wheel, so they really pop against each other, and I thought that would be a fun combo for her. Really in the tropical vibe today. <laughs> And I also decided to use those shades on the parrot. So I'm using the same combo, but I'm not gonna color him in completely. I'm gonna end up blending on some other colors as well, but I just wanted to have kind of the base color down first. Then I'm going to pull in YR000, YR00, and YR01. And I'm going to color the polka dots on her headscarf and I'll also do the frosting on the little cake. And then I'm going to give my pirates some rosy cheeks because they've been out in the sea and sun. So I use YR01 to do little ovals on their cheekbone area. And then I'm going to take the YR00 and just go around that to help that fade into their skin tone. And then for the boy's shirt, I wanted something kind of similar to her turquoise, but I didn't want to use that same combo again. So I pulled out BG05, BG07, and BG09. So I'm going to use those and I'm just shading from the top to the bottom on his shirt and then on the underside of his arms. Then I'll add a little of that BG05 on the parrot as well, just to kind of tie in both of the pirate's outfits. For the palm fronds, I'm using YG11, YG13, and YG17. I added the YG17 closest to the coconuts, and then I'm blending out with the YG13 and then leaving a little room for the highlight on the tips of each palm frond for the YG11. And then I'm also going to take the YG11 and color in the rest of my parrot. Just help that blend all together. For my gold coins, I'm using YR20, YR21, and YR23, and I'm adding a little shading at the bottom edge, right around the rim, with the YR23, and then I will blend up with the YR21, and hit the white areas with the YR20 for a little highlight. And then for the two piles of extra coins, I'm just going to repeat that same process so that everything matches and looks like it came from the same treasure chest. And then I will also color in the cake with the YR20 and then added a little shading with the YR21. And then I've got my three gems and I decided to make them sapphires because that's my birthstone and my personal favorite gemstone. So I use B21, B23, and B26. And I kind of shaded on the edges of each facet there and left the center facet for the highlight because I feel like that's where the sun would hit. And then I trim these out with their matching dies. For my background, I've cut out a piece of craft cardstock with the Stitch Hillside borders, and then I did peacock and blue jay cardstock with the uh, Stitch Wave borders. I used mermaid with the outside in Stitch Rectangle Stackables, and I'm adhering that to a fake tan card base that I have scored and folded to a standard A2 top fold card. So I wanted to have that little bit of orange showing through on the top edge of the cardstock. 
so that it ties in to my little pirate girl's outfit and um, but I didn't want it to be at the bottom because I wanted it to almost appear like a spyglass so the front section is kind of um, expanded out as far as it can go but then when you get toward the back of the scene it kind of zooms in and gets a little bit closer so um, that's kind of the look that I was going for so I've layered those onto my card base and now I'm going to pop that in my misty so I can stamp my sentiment I'm using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink which is the same ink that I used for my images and I'm stamping happy birthday matey and I'm going to ink that up a second time just to make sure that it is really nice and bold and black and then I'm going to open up my card base so I can stamp on the inside for that I'm using pumpkin spice ink and I'm stamping out the pirate ship again and the sentiment that says you are awesome which is super cute and funny so now I am ready to uh, adhere my images. So I'm going to start with my pirate ship because I know exactly where I want that to go. I want it to be kind of cresting that wave over on the left hand side and accenting that sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And then I'm going to take my three rocks that I want to be jutting out of the ocean and I'm going to add those to the next wave and just make sure that the bottom white edge is tucked below the surface of the water and then I'll add my palm tree over on the hill on the right hand side and now that I've got my background figured out I'm going to start from the center of the sand and I'm going to use my um, treasure chest to kind of anchor the scene out in front and I'll add my boy pirate over on the right hand side and my girl pirate on the left so they'll um, be kind of equal distant and just kind of create some balance there on the scene and then I've got all my little accessory images I'm going to take the treasure map and add that to the boy pirate's hand and any self-respecting pirate needs to have a parrot so I went ahead and added that to his shoulder and then I have the girl pirate holding the little birthday cake just to kind of integrate the birthday theme into the card then I have my piles of gold coins that are spilling out of the treasure chest so I'm going to put one on the right edge and one on the left and I flipped the image upside down just to make it look a little bit different and then I have my three little sapphires so I'm going to put one on the pile of gems in the center kind of leaning against it and then I'll put one next to the girl over on the left hand side I thought about putting it in her hand but I didn't like the way that looked so the other one is going to go over by the pirate and that is going to complete my scene I decided not to add any glitter on this one because it is more of a masculine card even though there is a girl pirate on there as well this one will most likely go to either my brother or my nephews so I decided to leave it off but there was another peek at the inside and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I post new ones every Monday and Friday. And if you're interested in any of the products that I use today, you'll find those listed and linked in the description bar below. And if you'd like to keep watching, here are two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. You can click on either one to check them out. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.